guys. Absolutely fantastic start to the morning's session. Straight into the car park, Munjak. Um, we've got lots of geese over towards the back and a couple of hares as well. So absolutely gorgeous conditions we've got today. Hardly any wind, beautiful sunshine. Just feels really good to be able to get out. So we're not even into the reserve yet. So let's what, see what else we can see today. I was just coming off the path a little bit at Falmere, overlooking where the airport is, and we've got this massive herd of deer. What I'm going to try and do is walk down the pathway to my right hand side here and see if I can just get a little bit closer. So pleased I managed to bring the tripod. And the reason being is when I was in the car park, there was quite a bit of activity and I want to do a bit of video footage and I decided not to put it back inside the car, but keep it out.
I've tried to come down a little bit closer to these deers. And what's actually happened, I've started to walk downhill, so they're not visible anymore properly. So I'm going to make my way back to that the vantage point. And I don't want to get too close to these animals and spook them in any way. just coming down to the marsh hide now and the pathway is just full of birds as you can hear absolutely glorious though also enjoying the sunshine the same as the rest of us Just had the reed bunting hanging around for a while and got some nice shots of that and from what I see on the back of the camera it's the first time ever that I've managed to get that shot with the white speck inside the eye so obviously this R7 is really performing it's not been the day that I've expected for wildlife, it's been completely different. I was looking forward to seeing the, um, the marsh area, but I've seen so many other things, can't complain. I've actually seen the, the marsh area flapping its wings just on the left hand side here, so it's obviously in the reeds, and I think they are nesting now. So you won't see them that often. Maybe they're both hanging around the nest because these marsh areas here, it's the first time if they are breeding that it's going to be a successful breed. They tried it here last year apparently, but it actually failed. So 
I'm going to wish these two birds the best of luck. I really do. But the day's not finished. I'm still going to stick around for another 15 minutes to actually see what actually happens. And then slowly make my way back to the car park. That's a lovely shot of him. You don't move into the open. It's nice to see all that new foliage coming out as well. Yep. Sorry about that guys, I mustn't get distracted when I'm making a video, but when it's marsh harriers, you've got to sometimes make the exception. And the marsh harriers flew straight over this area where I actually am at the moment, right in front of the reed beds. And they flew right to the edge here and then turned back. It happened so quickly, by the time that you get the camera up to be able to take the shot especially being in such a low section here and sat down completely missed the shot but with what I've seen today I'm very very happy with today I would actually class as a red letter day for the amount of wildlife that I've actually seen and the topping on the cake has been seeing the marsh areas and being able to get the the shots that I was expecting from this camera. With the 90D I'd been having focusing problems all the time on dark subjects. That's been eliminated now so every single penny that I've spent on this R7 is well well worth it. I'm starting to get used to the button buttons that are actually on the camera getting used especially getting used to changing over to record and then on to then press the record button they're in completely different places and the worst part is that you've got that lock button that's on the top of the camera and for some reason instead of pressing the button for record I'm pressing the button for lock and everything's locking up panicking with the shot but uh, what I'm going to do is as soon as I get to know the camera a little bit better is make a plan to be able to lock that button out so I'm going to walk back to the car park now see if I can find anything else so I'll see you just now well guys the stat that just about rounds today up here at Falmere. I'm classing today as a red letter day. Weather's perfect, lots of animals and birds all around. Really great just to be in nature. Today's really busy 
because we've got uh, the Easter holidays that's coming up this weekend so all the children are off school so all the grandparents bringing all the children out and what I wanted to say today has definitely been a red letter day for me absolutely and on the other side of the coin I'm starting to get used to the R7 a little bit more being able to find out all the different functions talking to people inside the hide also helps as well and you'll find that even they are out experimenting with new gear whether it's new lenses or whether it's a new camera or even a new tripod everything is just ongoing all the time with photography sorry about that somebody just passing by and thought they say hello to me as I say, really busy here at the moment. Lots of people in and out. And I'm right at the entrance to the reserve as well, which doesn't help. So everybody wants to know what I'm doing, who the hell I'm talking to, whether I'm talking to myself. So anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. It all helps to be able to build up the channel. And got quite a few other things that is coming up in the near future. So stay tuned and I'll see you the next time.